Now, everything you've always wanted to know about peas, beans, spaghetti, orange juice, milk, and uh, cheese, but didn't know whom to ask, is now printed right here on the label. Read the label, set a better table. And that's a straight scoop. You know, today's consumers, and of course that's all of us, are faced with an enormous choice of foods. And up until now, we haven't had any way to tell what kind of nutrients, things like vitamins, proteins, are in the foods we're buying. We couldn't tell how to buy the best foods, nutrition-wise or money-wise. Well, now, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the U.S. Department of Agriculture have come up with a way of labeling foods that's really going to give us the kind of information we need. It's really something, and it just might change the food buying habits forever. And it's right here, on the labels of jars, cans, packages, boxes of the food you buy. And hundreds of America's food manufacturers who are concerned about our nutrition problems are cooperating with the government in this nutrition labeling program. So now every single one of us can eat better if we use nutrition labeling to plan better balanced meals. We're going to show you how to do it. The new labels will show you how many minerals, vitamins, fats, carbohydrates, proteins, and our old friends calories are in the foods you eat. Read the label, set a better table. And the new nutrition information can solve a lot of problems for everybody. Now, let's see how. <laughs> Go on a low-calorie diet, he says. So how's a girl to know if green beans have fewer calories than lima beans? Read the label. Set a better table. We have got to start eating better balanced meals, but where do I start? Good question. Read the label. Set a better table. Dick, could I have some potato chips for lunch? Hey, Angela. Potato chips? Well, let's see. You could have potato chips with your lunch. How about potato chips and a hamburger and a nice glass of milk? Soda pop instead of milk? Milk. Growing kids need protein and calcium, and the label says that milk's got them. Milk and soda pop? No. Milk. See how firm you can be? And smart if you read the nutrition label? Let's take a close look here at a typical nutrition label and see just how it helps to set a better table. First of all, that mysterious thing, the serving. Packages used to say things like four generous servings. Or six average helpings, whatever that meant. Now the labels take the mystery out of servings because they show both the size of the serving in a measurement we all know, like a cup, and the number of servings per can or box or whatever. So you can figure out the cost per serving. Between brands or between different forms of the same food. Here's a familiar example. Let's say this box of instant rice costs 59 cents, contains 10 servings. This box of regular rice, which contains the same number of servings, but takes time to cook, costs only 39 cents. Now, the instant rice costs you 6 cents per serving. The not-so-instant rice costs you only 4 cents per serving. The regular rice saves you money, but takes longer to prepare. The instant rice costs more, but is quicker. The new label tells you what's in it for you, but the choice is yours. Depends on what you got more of, time or money. Now, let's pick up a subject that everybody talks about, but hardly anybody does anything about. Our old friend, the calorie. Now, the calorie is a measure of energy. Your body uses up a certain number of calories every day. Uh, if you eat more than your body uses, then the extra ones are stored up in the uh, form of fat. Now, the label on this box of spaghetti says that one cup of cooked spaghetti contains 210 calories. You can cut down the number of calories by cutting down the serving size. So, a half a cup gives you about 105 calories. Or, if you're a spaghetti freak, you can increase the serving size to one and a half cups. How many calories does that make? 315. Simple arithmetic. So you see, by reading labels, you can count the calories in the food you buy and control just how many calories a day you're going to eat. Need way to keep a girly figure. Unless, of course, you happen to be a boy. Okay, what's next? How's about we take a look at the next three items on the label? Protein, carbohydrate, and fat. Protein, that's me. Your friend, nutritionally. 
I help build muscle, keep them strong. Meat, milk, and fish is where I belong. Look and see, you'll find me on your nutrition label. Read the label and set a better table. I'm carbohydrate, your body's health mate. When energy's low, I give you go. I'm in cereals and starches and yummy treats. Define how much of me's in what you eat. Before you cook, just take a look at your nutrition label. Read the label and set a better table. Hi folks, I'm fat, a rich food is where I'm at, in creamy desserts, in meat and cheese, eat a lot of meat and you could get obese, how much of me you eat you'll see, on your nutrition label, read the label and say, better table. Thanks, boys. I think we can use you. The new labels tell you how much of these talented little guys are in the food you buy. So by checking out the label, you can see which foods give you protein, carbohydrate, fat, and how much. Now, this is how you can compare products. Take these two pot pies, for example. They're both eight ounces. This one costs 29 cents. This one costs 39 cents. They look a lot alike until you read the label and then you'll find that this one has more protein, less carbohydrates and fat and fewer calories. So if you want more protein, buy this one. But if you're not worried about calories, you get enough protein in the other foods, go ahead and uh, buy the lower price one. Speaking of uh, protein, one of its best sources is meat, but there are lots of other sources. Remember our slogan, Read the label, set a better table. You can actually get your recommended daily allowance of protein from foods that are less expensive. Foods like uh, cheese, fish, beans, chicken, and hey, peanuts. Peanuts? Yeah. All are high in protein, but are lower in cost. And good sources of vitamin and minerals, too. And where do you think you can read about it? <laughs> That's right. Now, protein, carbohydrate, fat, all add up to calories. And the label's going to tell you how many you get, whether you want them or not. They all add up to me. Who's me? I'm calorie. I give you energy. But I make you fat if you eat a lot. So check me on the label on the very top spot. Look for me, the calorie, on your nutrition label. Read the label and set a better table. Dick, what else can the label tell you? Well, how about uh, vitamins and minerals? Everybody needs them every day. There's uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, the three best-known B-complex vitamins, thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin, and everybody's favorite minerals, calcium and iron. The government has established recommended daily allowances for protein and important vitamins and minerals, and the label tells you what percent of each of them you get per serving. See, right here, recommended daily allowances. Now you don't have to wonder anymore if you're getting all the vitamins and minerals you need. Angela? So here they are, folks, the stars of cans, packages, and jars, vitamins and minerals. I'm vitamin A, I'm vitamin C, together we can help you be. On your toes, feeling right, I help your eyes see better at night. A healthy old body builds bones and skin. 
your label tells you what foods we're in Vitamin A and vitamin C You'll find us easily on your nutrition label Read the label and set a better table Now, a lot of people are on special diets, and they're going to find the new labels can make life a lot easier, because many food manufacturers are now listing sodium content, and some of them are listing cholesterol content as well. So if you're on a low-sodium, low-cholesterol diet, be sure and check that label. Read the label, set a better table, everybody, every day. Because, you know, people may be different, but there's one thing that we all have in common. That's the need for good, nutritious food or good nutrition. Nutrition is the way our bodies take in and use food to stay strong and healthy. And there's practically nothing more important than that. So we'd better make sure that the food we eat is worth eating. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that we've got to cut out our favorite snacks, but the thing is that eating right can be fun, too. What we have to do is be sure that we eat a variety of foods each day. Though many of us, children, active adults, older people, need slightly different amounts, the whole family can eat together, and they can eat well. Now, especially thanks to the new nutrition labeling program from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So read the label, set a better table. If you'd like to know a little bit more about this labeling program, why don't you ask down at the supermarket? They'll know all about it. Or if you want to, you can write to the Food and Drug Administration at this address. Or write to the U.S. Department of Agriculture at this address. You can feed your family right Even though the money's tight Nutrition information On boxes and cans Helps you fill your pots and pans With tasty food That's wholesome too And all you need to do is Read the label And set a better table This is Dick Van Dyke for the Food and Drug Administration, reading the labels. See you. <laughs> 